I would like to welcome our first guest, uh, Lok Sabha MP of the Trinamool Congress, uh, Mahua Moitra. Thank you very much, Mahua. Uh, what do you make of the observations of the judge? By the way, now uh, even the judge is being trolled. Uh, that's okay. When you've got an army as large as the one that the BJP have, they have to have something to do. So it's okay that he's being trolled. But I think, Santesh, there are two very important things to notice here. One is that please don't think that oral observations account for nothing. Number one. And two is what was the relief that was being asked for and what was given. So let's look at first the relief that was being asked for. They said that can all the petitions be uh, clubbed together as FIRs? And if you look as, as recently as the 22nd of May, there was a three-judge bench of the Supreme Court in which Justice Pardiwala was there. Justice Pardiwala is one of the judges along with Sundarakant on the double uh, bench today. And what did they say? They said that it is a waste of time to have multiple proceedings on the same case. Please club proceedings. So in a case, for example, like this Grand Venice Mall um, in Gurgaon, they club the proceedings. Arnab Goswami club multiple FIRs. Vinod Dua club multiple FIRs. In this case, they were asking for clubbing of multiple FIRs and the judges refused to do it. Now, the BJP and the trolls are tooting away saying that we've got alternative remedies. You don't have any remedy because a high court cannot give you relief for clubbing of interstate FIRs. The high court of Uttar Pradesh can give you Allahabad and something else. It can't give you Allahabad and Bengal. So the Supreme Court with, the, with their special jurisdiction was the only one who could do it and they have not done it. So that is a very stringent thing given that the practice is to do it. That's a very important thing. The second thing is that please see the, um, the again, uh, I think it's, it's only completely people of very intellectually challenged people who can say something like it hasn't found their way into the order. Now, if you were watching the proceedings, the judge actually was going to dictate an order when Maninder Singh, who was representing Nupur Sharma, jumped up and said, I'm withdrawing. So what was the what was the today was not the hearing. All they said was, can we transfer the petition? There are two things available to the judge. One is that he can reject it. One is that he can admit it. And the, there are only two options available to the judge. Now, he was he would have dismissed it at which he would have rejected it with an order saying the reasons for rejection in when the um, Maninder Singh jumped up and said, I'm going to withdraw. So when a person is withdrawing, that's all that the order would say. Hmm. The same thing happened to me when I went in and I filed against uh, the CSR contributions not being allowed for companies when they were giving to the prime minister's relief fund and not to state. The same thing, Justice Sanjeev Kishan Kaur told me, look, this is not, you don't have locus in this. I withdrew. The order just said withdrawn. But the oral observations made in court are very clear. Mm. And this is of, of such importance that no judge of the Supreme Court is going to say all of these things on record in the court when if it accounts for nothing. So sure. the people who are tooting, they have no alternate remedies and they have not given you the remedy so that you asked for when it is clear. practice. Observations matter. It's very, very clear. Yes, of now, course. Yeah, Mawa Moitra, you see, uh, uh, as, as a course of this entire exercise in, in the trolling or even in the commentary uh, ever since this observation came out, one point is being made that is this being seen as some sort of a justification of the Udaipur incident? That you are trying to leave uh, those, those perpetrators of Udaipur and letting them off the hook by blaming Nupur Sharma. How do you respond no, uh to this? No, I mean, only an idiot would think that uh, one equals the other. Uh, Udaipur, as I mean, there's there are no words to express the um, uh, you know outrage and horror at what has happened in Udaipur. That's not the point. That is a separate legal process which is proceeding. These are the harshest. I mean, I would hope that the harshest possible uh, legal procedures and the harshest possible sentences handed down to Udaipur. But having said that, what the judge was trying to address is everything is a cause and effect. So while Udaipur and the perpetrators of Udaipur will be handled. What sets the stream in action? I mean, let's look at something, Sanket. Even Udaipur, even Nupur Sharma is only one thing. It's only one manifestation of a larger narrative of hate. I mean, look what's happened today with Zubair. There are many. So Nupur has been basically, um, the FIR has been filed against Nupur for exactly the same sections. Delhi police hasn't gone after uh, Nupur. They've gone after Zubair. They've gone after Zubair. He's tweeted from his phone. They've gone to take his laptop. Now they'll put five other cases on him. So you see when the entire legal process, when the government, when the establishment is continuing with this narrative, it will have cause and effect. That is the larger manifestation of this kind of narrative that the Supreme Court was trying to bring out. It was in no way, like I said, only an idiot. And I use this with the most responsible as a parliamentarian. It is not unparliamentary to say that only an idiot would assume that this, the honorable uh, judges were in any way trying to justify. Not at all. 
All right. Mahua Moitra, many thanks uh, for joining Thank us you. right here on The Big Fight.